Jahira. Look at your stuff. Look at all the plants. Hey. Shadowheart walks a little freer of the shadows. She could shave her skull and paint it purple. It would still suit her. That's very true. Now we're traveling together. I realize I don't know much about you. That speaks well of your taste. I've heard my share of bad ballads about things I never did. If you have questions, ask. Just don't expect my answers to rhyme. Yeah, because of the ballads. Is it true that you fought the dead three before? It was Baal alone we faced in our time. And bad as that was, he had no elder brain for a lapdog then. Help won't come from the history books or from any old tales I can spin you. This is your story to write. <laughs> there. Have I fulfilled my role as your wise and wizened elder? Oh, please. You're only one of those things. Don't tell me which. Against all life experience, I will choose to assume the best. Yeah. I want to ask you something. Ask it. You mentioned you know something of Illithids. More than I would like. In my youth, I was a brief and very much unwilling member of a colony's hive mind. I felt the way they think, saw the world as they do. Foul, unnatural creatures who find the foulness in us and twist it to their will. But then, who am I speaking to? You have far more experience than I. Yeah. It's different this time, though. The other brain is a slave itself. Do not be moved to pity. It is a predator pinned in a trap. And if it wriggles free, mm, you'll find it still has teeth. Yeah, it's true. I didn't mean it as pity, though. I meant it as, you know, we need to be prepared. Although I do think we're going to kill the Elder Brain. So. Who else is around here? Shadow Heart. As well, I hope. Aside from the obvious. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. So she doesn't say anything about being here. That probably means Jahira herself doesn't say anything about being here. I need a quick word. Because I think they may have multiple intros. Because it has happened before. If you don't talk to them. One final night in the open air. And then back to the city. Rest while you can. I fear that quite a bit of work awaits us. There we go. She did say something. Yeah, quite a bit of work. Hey, folks. Blazel. Something is different about you. New facial creases, perhaps? A fresh battle scar I hadn't noticed. Bah. It eludes me. About me, I think you're. I think you're talking to Shadowheart. It does elude you. Will, how's that wine? Love Shadowheart's new look. Softer, less severe. It suits her. Mhm. Mm so it is a camp, after all. But it's a special camp. Oh, you're out here. God, Shadowheart looks like a stack of gold. <laughs> Never thought I could get so excited about someone's forehead, but here we are. Yeah, the yeah, other foreheads are hot. What do you mean, you never thought? And Halcyon is over there. I was concerned when I saw Shadowheart creeping about with a blade in the dead of night, but it was just to cut her hair, it seems. It suits her. Wait, she cut her hair? I thought uh, that was the... That's what happened? I thought... I thought it... Uh, I thought she changed the color of her hair. I need to look a little bit closer, I suppose. How am I holding up in your estimations? I've been unfair to you. I've had unrealistic expectations of your character ever since I joined you. But honestly, you've surpassed even those. Seems my faith was more than well-founded. 
I will. That's very nice of you to say. I feel like I haven't gotten to know you properly yet. What would you like to know? Not much. Anytime. <laughs> I think I, I have learned you as properly as it gets. All right. I think I also probably want to talk to our little friend over here. But we're sort of running out of potions. I've been chugging them as much as I need to. So I will just rely on having saved the game there. And look at that. Three of them. Hello. You smell very delicious, but I will not bite you. <laughs> uh, you like it here, huh? Nice here. The cave smell like Yeah, that's the same. Me. So I just reload. Because, you know, those potions, I can buy more. I can make more, most likely. But, yeah. Don't waste a step. And don't waste a potion. Kale! There's no more radiant sight than that of someone who's learned to love themselves anew. Shadowed in name, but no longer in spirit. It suits her. Nice. Yeah. All right. Can I look through your telescope? I spy with my little eye. Nothing of note, really. Astarion. The gate is closed. As is Casador. Casador and his right of profane ascension. An imperious soiree, attended by devils and spawn alike. A grand ceremony to honor one exalted vampiric master. And elevate him to an unfathomable station. To place him in a position of such esteem. The world will yearn to kneel and offer their necks. Hmm. It sounds as if you envy him. Of course I envy him. Why wouldn't I? The problem with what Cazador has done is that he did it to me. If the time comes and I can stay one move ahead of him, I'll take his place before his blood can hit the floor. I don't know. Raphael said the ascension was lethally diabolical. <laughs> Doesn't it sound delightful? For the lucky little vampire on the winning side. After 200 years of shit, pure shit, I think I deserve something better. Well, all that matters to me is that you're safe. Look, I appreciate that. I'm very grateful, of course. All I'm saying is, let's be clever about it. If an opportunity arises for me to become a more magnificent bastard than I already am, why turn it down? Let's find out more about the ritual before we waltz into Cazador's front door. If we track down my old comrades, the other spawn, we may discover more and be finely positioned for yours truly to ascend. Well, don't get ahead of yourself. We don't even know if it's possible for you to usurp the ritual. We're going to Baldur's Gate, the city of one in a million chances, splendor and squalor. <laughs> Anything could happen. If we don't find my brethren, they'll find us. Likely with bared fangs. We should get to them first. Then we can make their pretty tongues talk. Unless Cazador's changed their orders, they'll be in the dens of this town, seeking prey. I am very curious to see what Baldur's Gate is like. Very, very curious. Withers is all the way over there. I don't know what you're doing up there, Withers. My god, this game is so gorgeous. Jesus. <laughs> this game is so unrelentingly beautiful. Hey. Looking forward to a bit of rest, if I'm honest. Aelin? Be gone, friend. I have a darling to adore. They say the same thing. All right. We got some berry bushes here. Might as well take them, right? I don't think we're ever coming back over here. So. What? 
Are we just sleeping? I think we're just sleeping. Let's sleep. The events of the last days weigh heavily upon you. Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The Absolute is not a god, but an elder brain controlled by the Chosen of the Dead Three. They mean to use it to take control of the Sword Coast. All who carry the Tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension the Chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of Mind Flayers. This would have been your fate too, were it not for the Astral Prism and the mysterious visitor inside of it. With his help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest orchestrated by the gods of death themselves. Together, you have the power to thwart the Dead Three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. Will you liberate them from their parasites and their religious delusions? Or will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? I will free everyone of this evil. I will be the hero that saves Baldur's Gate. You will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. Hear me. Gather. The reckoning is upon us. The city thirsts for domination. March. Join. Under attack. Fight your way to the portal. I need your help. What? You left? No, you're still here. Uh, we got a bunch of journal updates, and we're also under attack by Drow. Uh, I suppose this would have been a good time to, for me to have that thing that warns me about things. I don't care. I'm not using that. Help my protector. During the night, we were awoken by the voice of the Absolute. A Githyanki contingent ambushed us. We heard the voice of the Dream Visitor desperately seeking our help. And, it, and that's our mission right here. We have either to control the Elder Brain or destroy the Elder Brain. How about both? Can I not con control the Elder Brain so it can destroy itself? And uh, the Grand Duke over here uh, was infested. Yeah, yep, yeah, infected. All right, this is easy, though. Oh, wait a minute. Escape to the portal before the Absolute takes control. No, no, that's bad. What is that? Oh, that's the Astral Portal over there. Why is it so ugly? Why, why? Why do we... Why, why? Okay, um... Yeah, this is this is super easy though, right? Super, super, super easy. So if we fast travel, seriously, that's lit. lit. There's some places that are not. Yeah, but if you fast travel, if we um, misty step our way up here, right there, that'd be a good place for us to. Crit them. So we have High Gishra Nick. Uh, Nick is likely a rogue? No, monk. Kai Empowered Strikes. And over here we have another High Gishra. They're all monks. Are they all monks? Yeah. Alright. So, uh, and this is somebody else. With unpronounceable... Well, it's actually not unpronounceable. It's unreadable names. That's my problem. We also have... Oh, we're taking psychic damage per turn! <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> That's pretty bad. I don't like that. Anyway, let's get Cadillac up in there. 55%. No, that is the wrong 70%. Does she have this? She does. Or she doesn't, rather. Of course, we could do Intimidating Presence, but that is an action. I will... Let's see. We do the Rush Attack. Right here. Ready for this. Saved. That's all right. 70%. Okay. Okay. Not great. Should do Frenzy. Sure. Doesn't matter on the first turn, so that's good. I wonder if this is worth the cost. I am thinking. Wait. Oh. Wait. Does this emanate light? Or am I... No, 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 it doesn't, it doesn't. 
Right. Yeah, he doesn't. He does. <laughs> That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. All right, let's see what kind of tremendous amounts of absolute destruction damage we deal here. Let's get this over. No crits. That's an auto automatic. I that was a 17 and it wasn't a crit? I rolled a 17. Get another one in. Another 17. Or maybe... I don't, I don't know what's going on there. Um, let's go for you. Yeah, I'm rolling super high. That's a critical hit. I don't fully get um, exactly how this works. Do you have resistances or something? Or damage reductions? Pretty nasty. Huh? Harborer? The save versus the tadpole. Gilladel is actually in in dire straits right now. Oof. Oh! I thought I was gonna say she's dead. She's not dead. These guys hit. They're good at this. Okay. So, I could do a fireball. I could do... So, fireball is level 3, right? And I could do a wall of fire. Right there. Uh, yeah. Of course, the good thing about the wall of fire... Hmm. Can you go over there? No. The good thing about the wall of fire is that it lasts. So that should be fine. I will bring... I'll bring you here. Critical hit. I'll get another one. And that's a kill. Okay. Yeah, so they both die as soon as they, they wake up. Come quickly. I can't do this without you. I know, I'm trying. I'm giving it my, my best. We have another misty step and we can do that. Let's just do it towards a place where we know uh, there's nothing here. I think the fire is just going to light everything up. It's going to be it's going to be pretty bad. We could go with our melee attack. But I don't I don't think that's a good idea. 75, let's go. Yeah, they they have Oh, hi. Uh, oof. That's pretty bad. Time to press ahead. That's pretty bad. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Um. Can you jump from there? Protection. Protection. Just jump. Okay, she burns a little. Seventy percent. Let's go. They definitely have damage reduction going on. For sure. So she's on fire, but she doesn't have the aura. Okay, things are happening. You didn't move. For Orpheus? Wait, what? Uh, yeah, you're gonna need to disable the the wall of fire. He said for Orpheus. They're Githzerai, right? No, Gith Githyanki, right? Right. I was I I was thinking of Githzerai. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. So, uh, what what can I do? Not much. Not much. Uh, let's try to kill you here. Very nasty misses here. Let me recite their demise. It's pretty bad. I think perhaps casting haste may be better. Victory awaits. Please lend. Okay. And then let's see. I don't think I need her there. I'll just move her over this way. Right there. May the 
roll in my and favor. then you go there as well. Or we will all become thralls. Oh, I didn't loot them. Not that it matters. Uh, we can see what it what they have. Save the game. What's inside? I should have should have done that. Oh, just dicks. All right. So that means we all we have to do is dis is uh, get you out of there. I am at disadvantage because you're a little bit outside of my normal range, and now you're not anymore. Let's not crit. That was zero damage. Literally. Alright. We can do this, right? Not enough movement. I'm heating up. Where are you? You're over there. So they spawn through here? Over there. I must say this could have gone better. The problem is, I don't know how... It says last round. So I don't know what's going to happen. Okay, she's gone. She's gone. We can bring her up. Lazel would be the one to bring her up. But the problem is this. Uh, well, now we the, basically the problem is we need to beeline, and we can we we can absolutely do that. That's not a problem. Uh, it's just that the extra action that we spend over there, uh, yeah. Oh, we all go. Okay, that's even better. That orb's about to explode. I speak from some experience. <laughs> of course, Orpheus is our is our guardian, and that's why they were talking about poor Orpheus and stuff. I'm here! Help me! I'm under attack. Wait. Oh, the intellect devourer is on our side. I just shot an intellect devourer. Uh, also, we're extremely injured. Shot. Sorry, intellect devourer. Sort of shot you a little. Uh, okay. Well. I won't give in. Ninety percent. Let's go. Zero damage. These things... Wow, what are they resilient to? That dealt a little bit more damage, but... Man. Yeah, get down there. Can't do much more. Can't slow down. Can't do much more. Can you reach there? Not with this. 35% intimidating presence. It's nasty. Soldier. It's really nasty. It's better that shot than anything else, really. Or than nothing else. Oh, we got another one. Miss! Alright, that's good enough. Ooh, no, haste. Gideon. Right. Let's cook with fire, baby. Down the hatch. And she can do this. Perfect. I don't fancy their chances. Well, I don't fancy our chances. Ah! 
Oh, they're deflecting missiles. That makes sense, yeah. Oh, that's got a lack. Pretty nasty. That's... That's very bad. Oh! Wait, wait, did you get... Well, what happened there, Cadillac? What, what? What happened to Cadillac? She lost her turn. Okay, uh, let's drink a small potion. Or not very small, but small enough. Uh, and you should be able to die. Good. Uh, where's the other one? There you are. 95. 75, let's go. Miss. Okay, run. Get out of there. And you jump up there. Uh, I should have frenzied her, but I, the jump didn't allow me to. That's why. But she does have haste. Uh, let's do reckless attack. And now she has advantage. And that's pretty good. It's quite a lot of damage. We're at 15. 60% chance to hit. Let's go. It's not over. Come to the skull. I'm going to the skull. Just try. Hurry. I can't hold them back alone. Okay, I'm gonna save. Because I, I don't I don't know if you are actually saying the truth or not. Give Yankee, Yankee trouble. Huh. There's a raider up there. How do you get up there? Curious. I see nothing. I need you. Hey, now. Not you hang in there. Shut up. It's broken shield give Yankee short sword. Okay. Nothing else then. Oh, potion of speak with animals. A hundred percent worth it. 100% worth it. Help me. Hang in there. You Oh, also there's an inscribed Githyanki slate. Take my pick. Oh, she didn't say anything about that. The image on this slate has been carved with such intensity that it almost pierces the slate itself. The pictures of spells and weapons frame a lonely central figure, his head bowed, his arms outstretched, chained between two rocks. That's Orpheus. That is definitely Orpheus and that's our that's our that's our uh Please, help me. that's this guy our companion our guardian At the ready. I can't hold them off much longer I am here Let's go Oh they're moving they're moving okay save the game There's It's not over Come to the scalp Oh the game auto saved there Are we all here 1 2 3 Good. There's a lot of them. Oh, there's somebody. Then which side of the battle am I right now? What? 
So, wait a minute. Okay, so Orpheus is here, as I predicted. But is it isn't Orpheus who... Wait, what? It isn't Orpheus who's been talking to me all along. But has he been sort of, you know, making me think that it is Orpheus? This is the battle you were fighting? The honor guard. Eliminate them. My forces are weakened by their assault. But with your help, we can turn this around. Destroy the guard. I will subdue their master. Oh man, I could, I could, I've, I wanted to ask, prove to me that you're, what you're saying is right. Look, I want no part in slaughter of innocents. Do not be driven by fear. Trust me now, and I promise you will have all the answers you seek. Now, help me. How do I help? The God. Destroy the God. They prevent me from subduing their master. Do it now. Aid an illicit against Githyanki. We cannot. We must not. Your blind loyalty will be your undoing, Lazel. Fight with me for your own survival. Oh, crap. Karlak didn't... didn't say anything. Uh, well, I, it doesn't really matter one way or the other, I don't think, in the sense that I don't have all the tools to make the answer, and thus my answer is, uh, or to make the choice, rather, and thus my choice is, is basically, let's figure out what, what they wrote for this line, and, uh, the line I'm gonna pick is this, join the Mind Flayer's fight. Together, we can turn the tide. Oh, my protector is the quest that we got. So we are assuming this is our protector? There's prelates here. Who are we protecting? Or who are we trying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy. Orpheus. I told you it was Orpheus. I knew it was Orpheus. It was obvious, but, you know, whatever. But, yeah, we're still on the side of these. That makes sense, because we have been following his line, uh, his guidance. So when we arrive and the intellective hours are here and fighting on our side, that is, you know, that is normal. 